one all-terrain nation, whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, or that Bronco that you want to drive, like me, this is your all-terrain nation. I'm your host, David Boyd. So first off, smash the like button. That tells other people who are interested in this particular content that, hey, there's there's another channel that does Bronco, and you know they'll find us that way. And I appreciate that. And if you haven't yet, think about subscribing to the channel. If you like what we do, we're going to we're gonna do a long-term review of this Bronco. It's not just something we buy and uh, you never know what happens to it. We, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly from this thing, we want to document it and share it for everybody. Now, <clears throat> if you haven't yet, let's get right into this. If you have not been contacted by your dealership yet, shame on your dealership, and uh, you better get a hold of them, because if you're, a, I would say, a day, the first five-day priority, we'll say, or your first five-day reservation, there's a good chance you can get a 2021, but you got to get a hold of it, and you got to get your order in ASAP. Now, now Ford is saying March. I believe it's March 19th is the cutoff day for orders. Don't wait that long because my dealership contacted me, and I'll link above in a video, that they are only getting 40. Now, out of the 300-plus, it's probably closer to 400 now that my dealership's gotten, they're only able to get 40 allocations for the 2021 model year. Now, you may not be in a hurry, and that and can wait and maybe there's more options for 22 model year but if you want to be one of the first to get the 2021s don't wait do it now go through your building price like we're about to do i'm going to show you how you save that save it email it to your dealership get up there get your deposit whatever they want down you're going to negotiate the price of your vehicle and uh probably like most you're going to pay retail some dealerships are saying a thousand off but I'm still a little skeptical when it comes down to you receiving that, whether you get that thousand dollars off and hope that your reservation number is high enough to get you into one of the, the, the allocated for 2021. If not, you know, you're probably going to wait what I think Ford says from uh, basically June till December is when they're building 2021. So you're not going to wait too long, but you know, here we're in January of, 2021 and do you want to wait a whole nother year so that would be a year and a half you've had to wait for a vehicle that choice is yours but let's get into my final build and price because we thought we had this thing worked out back in december this kicked off our wtf series if you haven't yet i'll link above to that there's been a lot of lot of weird things going on with the build and price website there was uh some things supposedly the automatic transmission wasn't getting included in some of the packages so you may have thought you were fifteen hundred dollars cheaper than you were and some things just aren't available due to whatever ford says this week we don't know but there's they've had some i think some weight issues with this thing and they got to keep it under a certain weight so let's jump right into this thing and let's uh let's build and price a ford bronco my Ford Bronco and uh, see if we made any changes since December when we should have been able to order it. All right. So there's, there's you probably by now, you know, this website more than uh, probably better than me, but I've combed through this thing. I bet I've probably built this 50 to 60 times the perfect Bronco for me. And the price you see at the end, I've got a feeling they're going to hit dingy for a couple of other things that Ford's not showing on this, but so from last time, we, we decided from going from, we, were, we talked about initially doing a Badlands, but we're going to Black Diamond. I want to I want to step it down a little bit, but that doesn't mean you're stepping down into a lesser vehicle. And initially, <clears throat> in my first build and price, we'd only talked about doing a two-door. And I think for resale value, not that I plan on just selling this anytime soon, but I think the market would dictate that the four-doors, if you look at the Wranglers, and this is direct competitor, Four door sells, I think it's like six to one that they sell a two door. So I think if I ever do want to get rid of this thing, the four door is going to be the way to go. So I'm going to click that this over here to, to four door. And there we go. And we're going to start our build. And if you've been with me once before, well, you know, you kind of know where we're going, but there's been one drastic change. So we've got the Sasquatch package. So we're just going to dump that in. And right away, you can see it's going to add the 315, 70, 17 mud terrain tires, the good years, which I'm not a fan of. I'll probably switch mine out as soon as I get it. And it removes the seven speed manual transmission. Now, don't fret if you're one of those people who thought, I thought Ford said that we could get a manual transmission with the Sasquatch. You can, but it's going to be, it's going to be probably a, about this, let's see, I think you could probably get it around spring of next year is when you're actually going to be able to get that and if your dream truck is a manual transmission which lord knows there's not many anymore i would wait get the, in in any of this any of this you see me do 
get what you want because you don't want to these are expensive purchases and you do not want to get into this thing and then you're you're just like man i wish i would have got the high package or, or the lux package or whatever do it right save the most money you can put down whatever you can do on this thing and make the best deal for yourself and that includes getting exactly what you want do not settle do not get into a bronco just a, a base just because oh, i got into a bronco so anyways so that's going to add six thousand eight. Uh, is that six thousand eight hundred eighty-five dollars? I believe there. So, all right. So as you can see, it jumped up to the bigger tires. As you can see, it still has the uh, the soft top. Well, that's not for me. But first, we got to get to the color. So we had me and Kelly had been debating. She wanted the Area Fifty One, and I wanted the Cactus Gray. Now, Kelly doesn't like the Cactus Gray at all. So. I'm going to compromise a little bit. So I told her, I said, hey, we will do, we'll do the, um, the Area 51. But the problem is I seen Area 51 in person now on the Bronco Sports. And it looks great in pictures. And up in person, it looks good. It's just, I feel like it's a color after seeing it in person that I would just kind of get bored with. And once again, like I just said, get the best vehicle you can for you. So that means we've changed colors and what color would it be uh would it be the uh this velocity blue probably not it's a good going color if they had the uh the electric blue as they're doing on first edition i would jump all over that but we've we've back and forth from race red to rapid red and we've decided to go with the rapid red uh we've seen this color on the f-150s and it's a classic looking color and this is a it's a classic looking vehicle obviously it's a throwback vehicle and I think it deserves kind of this classic color. Now, it's not like I, you know, if you looked at the uh, the Cactus Gray, that's probably more of a, a period correct of what this is designed off of color for this. But I just think that the uh, the Rapid Red is, is, you know, a classy color. And unfortunately, it adds $2.95 to the price. Well, initially, I thought all these colors were going to add about 1000 to the price. So I can take that ding and, and I can live with that. So see now. <clears throat> we've got our we've got our uh, truck the soft top and now let's move on so last time i did decide on a hard top for this thing but they uh, actually brought in a lot more options now but some of these options you're going to have to wait for so if you want the dual top options where you get both the hard top and the soft top it's going to delay your order i'm just sticking with the uh the molding color top i i want a hard top the soft tops are probably great I just like the flexibility the, the hard top gives you where you can take the front off. And yes, I know on the soft top, you can fold it back. I just feel more comfortable with the hard top. And plus in the wintertime, I will be driving this in the wintertime and I've had soft top Jeeps. They get a little chilly. So I think this is, even though we're not getting the insulation in this one, I just think it's a overall for my lifestyle. I think it's a, it's a better choice. Now, some of the things you can't get when you go Sasquatch are these cool crossbars and, and some of the, the, the sound deadening one is a mind boggler to me, but is what it is. <clears throat> now, we, this included with the, the Black Diamond, you're getting the front bumper that's a heavy-duty front bumper. And uh, do they have, I think they got a better, better picture of that bumper. There, you can see it right there. You're getting it, and you can put all kinds of cool attachments on this thing. I'll be honest, if I could get this vehicle without those bumpers, I would because I'm going to go aftermarket for bumpers anyways. But with this package, you know, it gives me what I want with uh, some of the entertainment stuff down below. So I kind of stuck with it. And let's let's be honest, it doesn't look that bad. Uh, so let's get into it. You get the bash plates with this, which is great. Uh, once again, I think aftermarket covers these things better. But having some protection from the get-go saves me a few thousand dollars maybe in the first year. Maybe I'll upgrade some of that later. Uh, brush guard. You cannot get the brush guard, which is weird. You go you go, uh, Sasquatch, you cannot get the uh, – you can't get the, uh, the cool stuff with it. For what reasons, Ford's not really let us know just yet. But I think it's one of those things where they can't sell it from the factory with those parts. But you can go to your Ford uh, Motor Performance dealer and uh, add these as you want. But I'm not, I don't care about the brush guard. But the first thing I do care about is the remote start. So the remote start, start is going to put us in the mid package, which I'm perfectly happy with. I like the mid package. And for what, you know, what we're going to get with it, I think it's, it's all right. So that's $14.95 that we're just going to upcharge us there. Uh, the keyless entry, 
I, I like Ford's version of this, and on the Bronco Sport, the way they hide it in the, the pillar looks great. It looks like an afterthought on this. It's not for me. Um, I'm going to have the top off on this truck a lot anyways. So for me, I can't justify – it's only $110, but I just can't justify like that added feature right now. So I'm going to skip on that. Now, <clears throat> the interior, you get one choice with, uh, with the, uh, the black diamond, and that is the marine-grade – Vinyl seats. Uh, it's a dark space gray. I think they look pretty good. I've seen some pictures. Uh, Bronco 6G's had some pictures. Uh, the Bronco Nations had some pictures of the seats. Um, they're not bad. I think I think uh, out of the, all the weakness of Ford with the Bronco, the interior color choices have probably been the most... Not, they're, they're okay. Uh, but when you get into some of the higher packages, I just think they kind of missed the mark on that. Even though... They, the seats do look good, and they do look comfortable. Uh, the center console, from what I have seen, they're using a lighter color um, gray, and it just stands out awful weird. Now, maybe that's just a pre, that's just pre uh, manufacturing. Maybe once they start building them for sale, they'll match the rest of it. But it's an odd thing to me. Now, so we have no no real options there, and uh, but once again, I think the interior looks great as is. Now. Floor liners. I do want the floor liners. Now, the black diamond, you're probably like, Dave, the black diamond has the washout floors. Why would you want the floor liners? That is true. But also, I like my WeatherTech mats that I've had in any other vehicle I've owned. And from what I can see of these, they do look like the WeatherTech mats. And uh, if I don't like them, it's $160. I'm sure I can put them on, on Craigslist or eBay Marketplace or Facebook Marketplace and get my money back. So it's not, and it doesn't, at the end of the day, it does. it's adding pennies to the loan, really. Um, but I do want those. So we're going to add that. There's another $160. Now, I get the storage bag, the front row, top panels for the, the vehicle, for it, for the, the four-door. It comes with that. I guess you can just do the, the front two, which is cool. Um, the one thing I wish that that would be is for um, the doors. Now, it, it kind of shows the doors in, in the picture right here, but I don't know. I, I wish they they would include bags for the doors because from what uh, the Bronco Nation did where they showed taking off the doors it was it was a nice it was a nice video they did and I just it's never been real clear about what they're going to include with that. Now we get the uh, for this we're going to get the power outlet which I do want. It's been I've had this in full size trucks. Having that inverter is super handy. Um, the radio I've said this in my last video. As long as it hooks up to my phone anymore, I could care less. It'll probably sound great. Most modern radios sound great anyways. So I'm not I'm not going to jump up to the 12-inch screen because I've, I've toyed with that in the, the 2021 uh, uh, Ford uh, F-150 that we reviewed. But I'm okay. Like, for the price that you would have to upgrade to that, I, I'm okay without it. Uh, once again, it's a radio. It does its thing. Um, let's see. Now... Here's the, if, if you're on the fence about ordering anything, it probably should be this. The, it comes standard with a 2.3 liter uh, turbo four-cylinder. It's probably a great motor for this truck, but I want power. And I want the potential 300 plus horsepower, 400 foot-pound torque power that Ford was talking about in their, uh, their uh, breakout video. But with power comes uh, great responsibility. It means you don't get the manual transmission, which, I, once again, I'm fine with. Um... But it does give you a nice upcharge of eighteen ninety five plus puts you into an automatic transmission, which um, I think that it was included with the Sasquatch price at that six thousand. But they've not. This is part of the build and price problem. They've never really made this too clear. Uh, that gives you the advanced four wheel drive system, uh, which is cool. I get front and rear locking diffs with the uh, properly four point seven geared diffs, which once again. Don't think, oh, I can put 35s on this thing, and it's no big deal. Gearing matters. If anything, if I can preach anything to you, gearing matters when you put bigger tires on this thing. And if you have plans to put 35s or even 37s on this thing, I would think highly about going up to the Sasquatch package. Because you also, you're getting five full-size tires with five full-size you know, wheels, like, and, and you're getting front and rear lockers and lockers on the trails. Some of you may never take this thing off road. I have intense. I do plan on taking this off road. So lockers are, are essential to me. <clears throat> Once again, here's the mid package. Uh, you do get dual climate controls and, and some nice goodies. Um, I'm sure you've, 
if you're like me, you've went over this thing many, many times. Now, one of the most controversial things I've added to this that people go, why do you want to pay $595 for this is the tow, the tow hitch. Now it's going to get the wiring for it and stuff. And I just, for one, yes, I'm sure some aftermarket company is going to come for 150 bucks. Then they're going to ding you for another probably 60 bucks for a wiring harness. And then you got to spend the afternoon doing it. I've got other things I want to do with my Bronco and a wiring harness isn't, isn't on top priority for me. And you know, it's proven. Ford, Ford has this taken care of, and yes, it's six hundred dollars. But at the end of the day, I, for what it's going to cost me at the end of the loan, I'm I'm not going to freak out about it. So let's let's scroll right back up here real quick, and this is what my Bronco is going to look like. Now, let's go full screen with that a little bit. So that is kind of my dream Bronco. Would I like something a little more? Would I have liked to have gone up to the Badlands package with the, the sway bar disconnect and all that? Yeah, but ultimately, this is stepping up from where I've been with my Nissan Xterra that I've had for many years, and I think I think it's going to be a nice upgrade. Now, let's get into that final price because that's where, that's where it really hurts, and this was to be expected. All right, so once again, remember that print button I was telling you about earlier? Here it is, right here. You hit print. And it's going to want to create this PDF for you. And this is what you save. And then you send it to the dealer. So let's just look at it right here. All right. So I've priced my Bronco at $52,060. And I'm looking at what the terms they have right now at 60 months. I forget what the 5000 down or something like that. It would put me at $885 a month if that's how I chose to finance it. Um, $885 a month is a lot of money. Vehicles are very expensive. And this is why I told you. Be sure to get what you want because there's a couple things. I could jump down to the lesser model and probably get this down to 840 something like that. But if that $40 at the end of the month doesn't hurt your finances, you know, obviously any money coming out of your account hurts. But if it doesn't ding you too bad, get the truck or car you want. So it's to me, it's very important. So as a recap, you can see right here, it, it breaks everything down, and this is what your dealer wants to see. They want to see the options that you've chose. Um, once again, look, they're not showing the charge there for the 10 speed, even though it's the price is in there. Because um, I've priced this before around $50,050, ,050, so there's an increase in there. Um, and it shows my, my dealership, gives you terms here. And uh, once again, this is what you want to email your dealer and and say, hey, uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to shop for my dream Bronco. So in closing, hopefully this series has helped you maybe break down a little bit of, of how you want to see your Bronco. If so, leave me a comment. Let me know. I once again, this channel is not just strictly Bronco, even though we had a lot of Bronco content. We planned. We've had a lot of events. We planned on doing some. Uh, We've already booked some trips that we wanted to do this year. Uh, hopefully be in Moab this year at some point. I know we'll be at Windrock this year uh, at some point. And uh, we want to do a lot of off-road trips in any vehicle that we currently have in our fleet. And uh, we want to see you guys. So if you like what we uh, do, hit us up. Let us know. So from all things two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, you know the drill. It doesn't matter what you drive. This has been your All-Terrain Nation, and I'm your host, David Boyd. And Hopefully this is the final build of our Bronco. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.